Hello everyone, this is a short video where I'm going to show you how to create a printed circuit style heat exchanger using Tofi. So we start from a 2D topology optimization solution, uh, which is trying to, to cool a hot plate. What we want to create is a layered solution, uh, which, is, uh, which is using this result. So we'll click on Add Validation Case which brings us to these menus where you can customize your layered solution. So I'm going to go for three layers. Uh, you can modify the thickness of each of the layers. Uh, so let's uh, make that middle layer thicker. And you can also choose what, what the type of each layer is. So uh, you can either choose um, a solid layer or a simulation layer. And the simulation will use uh, the result of the parent topology organization result. You can then add more layers if you wish. Uh, and again, modify the thickness of the layers. Uh, and let's say I'll add another two layers at the back. And then I can also modify the number of elements uh, used uh, across uh, along the depth of each of the layers. So you can see this updates uh, the number of elements in your mesh. Once we're happy with the, with the, with our design, uh, we can move on to the next menu where we specify the boundary conditions for our simulation. So uh, in this case, we'll model hot walls on both sides of the design. So let's go for, I don't know, let's say 350 degrees Kelvin on the front. And let's say 380 degrees at the back. And we can also customize the flow conditions uh, at each of the layers. So let's say for this thick layer, the second layer, we want to increase the velocity of the fluid. So let's go for 0 0.015 meters per second. For the remaining surfaces, the boundary conditions are inherited from the, from the boundary conditions of the, of the parent simulation. Okay, so we're done with this. Uh, we can move on to the next menu. Uh, here you can modify the fluid properties and also the solid properties for the simulation. I'm going to leave them as default for now. And that's it. Uh, you, can, you can choose how many processors you want for your simulation and also the maximum number of iterations. And I'll leave these as default again. You just click Launch. Um, the simulation will run in the background and you just have to wait for your results.